All right, space attack. This kind of project has been a long time in the making. I never say that a lot lately, but this audio boy has uh, taken uh, taken a long time to make. It's not really anything special, really. It's just kind of stuff I I learned from making my um, Retro Zero, and I kind of ported it over to this platform. So as you can see, it's got the same buttons, same speaker, um, similar uh, sandwich design of two PCBs. Um, it's got a knockoff Arduino uh, Pro Micro. Um, it's got a 0.9 inch uh, OLED screen, which is just the black and white one. You can get them in different colors, slightly different colors. Uh, I've got a reset button, just nice clicky one. I've got uh, a couple of these soft touch buttons. I've got speaker, piezo speaker. I've got a hard hardware on and off switch. Quite a lot of people add these to their builds. It's quite a good um, thing. And then you've got the back power board. You've got a um, just a cheap a lipo charger, but this one's got a micro 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 bleh, USB C adapter instead of a micro USB adapter. Um, there's you've got your battery uh, connector, the JST connector. You've got a small, I think it's about 350 milliamp hour battery. Get you a good fair few hours out of it, uh, and then you've just got a boost, uh, five volt boost up to it, um, and that is it. Oh, and which is I've got added a removable flash cart because. The um, you, yeah, someone actually did make a flashcard mod for the original, original one, but I've added mine removable. It's kind of a, a stupid idea really to make it removable. I thought I was going to make a few different Arduinos, uh, Audrey Boys, and then just have this car, and then you had to swap them between the different ones. But it doesn't work out because for some of them, for some of them, the different screens, you need to flash the games, uh, patch the games. So you wouldn't just be able to take this and stick it in one that's got a bigger screen or a different weird screen. So it kind of bit redundant but you know we're here now um i also did have a few problems because i was following the blog post on the forums and they told you to connect up uh one of the pins to pin two on the um arduino but actually um when i was um basically had a bit of problems with it and ended up finding one of these uh flash chips were corrupting it so i ordered a new set logic shift and a flash cart that didn't work and i thought that this is weird I ordered another flash cart because I thought that I'd put, um, as I was waiting for the logic the logic shift to use the original logic shift, I thought that had blown, and then that had blown the actual um, flash card. But anyway, I ended up breadboarding just her Arduino, uh, and then these chips separately, and it all worked. But I connected it instead of the pin two, I connected it to the RX line, which was the original uh, schematic, and it worked. So I've done like a little bit of a, a bodge job on this, a bodge wire. From the pin it seems to be working okay now um i was getting a few issues where it kind of like reboot randomly or i thought it was me touching the back of these pins and then it was you know short and out but it wasn't the case it seems to be running perfectly fine now uh, i'll give you a quick demo because you have to flash Ooh. with um with the flash card you have to flash uh, a special bootloader which i'll show you which is this which lets you um why is that not working? There we go. Which will let you slip between the different, um, there's like um, different headers you can have uh, under RPG and then you can have shooter, different ones into there. And then when you want to, you can just press A. Nope, it's not, I'm lying. If you press B, it'll flash to the, and then you can play at them. And then if you want to turn it on again, it just has the last game on it. Um, and that is it really. There's um that is pretty much it. As as usual there'll be a link for the blog post in the description. Um we'll have all the design files and uh, if you want to make your own, um which I wouldn't really advise. I'm gonna try and make this is the first one, I'm gonna hopefully make another one in the future and I'll probably just hard wire the flash cart just straight into it, just make it a lot easier. Or I might have, I might just have the flash cart, the actual flash cart removable and just keep the logic shift there uh, just in case but yeah anyway thanks for watching bye